My name is Xiao Shuangyue. I'm from Dalian Polytechnic University. Next, let me introduce my paper. This is my contents. First, I will talk about the introduction of the article, then the modeling steps of ARIMA model, then the experimental process and the experimental results, and finally, the conclusion. This is the introduction. As the society demand of the electricity is increasing, traditional energy and environmental pollution problems are becoming more and more serious. And distributed power generation has developed rapidly worldwide. The effective integration of the microgrid and the distributed power generation is an important technique means to solve the problem distributed power generation grid connection. The distributed power source in the microgrid are mainly wind power and photovoltaic power generation. Due to the ran randomness, randomness of wind, wind turbines have random and intermi intermittent characteristics which will affect the stable operation of the entire power grid. The common statistical method include the multiple, multiple linear regression algorithm, algorithm, artificial neural network, algorithm, a support vector machine, algorithm, and grid theory algorithm. However, they all have their own shortcomings in wind speed forecasting. In this paper, a method based on ARIMA is proposed the ultraviolet index prediction of the model. According to the historical ultraviolet index data, samples and analyzes the ultraviolet index according to the time series and use the historical data to model and predict the future changes. First, text the stationarity of the historical ultraviolet index data time series. Second, estimate the order of the model on the basis of the stationarity of the ultraviolet index and Get the ARIMA model. It can be simplified the complexity of modeling, reduce the complexity of system design, design procedures, simplify the conversion operation, improve the system operation speed, and improve the prediction accuracy. Next. Introduce ARIMA modeling principles and steps. The ARIMA model is a time series model. To establish an ARIMA model, you must first determine the value of the P, D, and Q to see that if the time series is stationary or not, we take half of ACF and BACF. ARIMA modeling generally has the following four steps. First, inspection and the progressing of data series. Before modeling, the data series must be tested, analyzed it, and process it to meet the requirements of normal and stable zero mean. After processing, the data sequence, sequence meets the modeling requirements, and then the next step is analyzed. Second, model authoring. Determine the P and Q according to the AIC 3N and calculate the AIC value corresponding to each other. The smaller the AIC value, the better. The estimation of the parameters phi 1, phi 2, until phi p, and 
seat one, seat two, until seat Q. Its study, this study used marked, marked nine line, nine layer, nine layer, nine linear list security method model diagnosis. Check whether the residue sequence is a white noise sequence. If it is, it means that the residue is properly caused by random inference. inference. Then the model is available. Otherwise, it needs to be remodeled. Then the experimental pro procedure. First, data pro pre 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 progressing. Then the, estab the establishment of the ARIMA model requires that the time series to be a stationary random process. Therefore, before modeling, the basic statistical features such as independence and stationarity of time series data need to be tested to prepare for modeling. Second, independence test. The overall test method proposed by Fox and the priest is used to be test whether the sequence is a white noise sequence. After testing P less than 0 0.05, the data meets the independence requirements. So it can be processed with time series. Third, stationarity test. The non primer metric Daniel test is used to be used to test whether the data series have potential chance. The test method is to calculate the Spearman rank correlation coefficient of the time series. Then model ordering mod, model ordering and model determination. Make a first order difference to ultraviolet index data. The difference results and are shown on in figure one. The stationary test of the ultraviolet index data after the first order difference is P is 0 0.3628, more than 0 0.05. The test result does not meet the standard. The data shall, shall be second order difference and the, the stationary test shall be performed on the difference the result, result. The second order difference is P is 0 0.65054, more than 0 0.05. It still does not meet the standard, so we need to carry out the third order difference. The third order difference is P is 0 0.01 less than 0 0.05, which meets the standard. The sequence is stable, and the and also correlation correlation analysis can be performed. Make auto correlation and partial correlation function graphs based on ultraviolet index data. The, co ultra, the auto correlation function graph of the ultraviolet index screens is shown in Figure 5. According to the Figure 5, it can be seen that the ultra, auto correlation coefficients after the second order calculate around zero, that is, they are all in the confidence boundary. Carry out root test and white noise test on the data after autocorrelation function calculation. The test results meet the requirements of practical 
partial autocorrelation function calculation. According to the partial autocorrelation graph, it can be seen that the partial autocorrelation coefficients are all within the confidence boundary after all the two. According to the autocorrelation function graph and part of the autocorrelation function graph, the following models can be known. ARIMA 0, 2 model. ARIMA 2, 0 model. ARIMA 2, 2 model. We need to determine the order of the model according to ACA function method. Finally, according to the ACA charism and the ACI results of each model in Table 2. The optimal model is determined to be ARIMA 232 ACI is 112.69. Then, it's, then is experimental result. The model were verification results show that the ARIMA 232 model is successfully construct constructed draw a prediction map. The result is shown in figure 6. The scene dashed in dashed line represents the original data and the solid line represents the fitted value. It can be seen from figure that the filtering effect is very good. The, the prediction result is displayed as a thick dotted line. Dark green index indicates a confidence interval with 80% confidence, and light gray indicates a confidence interval with 95 confidence. Finally, the conclusion. It is feasible to predict the ultraviolet index by applying ARIMA 232 model. The research, the research results have very high value of the control of solar energy in the smarter micro grid. The implemented technique is effective and precise of ultraviolet index prediction, but the ultraviolet index is affected by altitude. Weather co conditions and ozone layer sickness and so on. The impact and the constraints of the model itself can only be short-term forecast. If long-term prediction is required, the model can be optimi optimi optimized or combined with other models to establish a hybrid model. Finally, we need to compare, compare those techniques along with ARIMA model to find the best one. This is the reference. Thank you.